today is trading hall day. That is to say that today is the day I hope to complete the trading hall. Uh, last episode, we completed the village burrito, which I did change a little bit <clears throat> because I felt the prison cell aesthetic wasn't that befitting. So I just replaced it with glass. Looks a bit basic, but clean. Clean. Which is better than... Fenced. <laughs> and the villagers have been quite busy, I mean... We have more than enough for quite a while. I actually had to turn it off. Um, the way this mechanic works is... Uh, when these villagers try to breed with each other... They look for beds, and because they can't see the beds, they can't actually breed. So I did do some work off camera. Uh, not too much, but I felt that the villager trading hall should be underground. So far this is just a basic layout. Uh, the villagers are going to drop from down here. I uh, don't think I thought that through. Let's see. Yeah, apparently I did. Okay, so I'll just block this side off, minecart bumps into that block and falls down onto the rail beneath. Okay, so this is the plan. The villagers are going to fall down here onto this block, which is going to be a rail. They're going to be transported either directly into the system, which is the top part here, or they're going to go over here to uh, this one I have planned to be the zombie change modification chamber. The zombie change modification chamber. After which they'll they'll move to here, which is the rejuvenation chamber, I guess. <laughs> After that, they'll just move into the villager uh, training hall itself. So the idea is, instead of just having one villager training hall down here, uh, we can have different modules, uh, which gives us uh, the opportunity to add a bunch more villagers. And I might take it further that way i'm not sure i don't think we'll need that many uh, i mean every one of these units i believe holds about 10 and th that should honestly be more than enough even if you have like just two 20 is already enough villages for for most things the librarians are probably going to take up the most space as they give us all the nice little books but like in terms of stone workers or fletchers or what's it the farmers yeah i'll probably only have like one farmer that's for carrots to get started with this project however there's a couple of things we're gonna need now i've already collected some of the stuff off camera some of the basic stuff but we will there are two components that we will need that will be a bit more tricky to get uh the first being cactus not that bad the other however is the reason i have a diamond pickaxe and that is observers. Now, for observers, of course, you need uh, courts. And to get courts, you need to go to the nether. And to get to the nether, you need obsidian, which is why we need a diamond pickaxe. We did manage to collect 10 obsidian, which is the magic number. But before we get on with our nethery shenanigans, I want to try and go find that cactus. Cactus! Which we now have, along with some other things from our expedition. Let's put that in there. Perfect. And the last thing we need, observers. So it's time to head to the nether. Where shall we build our portal? Yes. Right in this wall. And ignite. Let's keep a fire charge. Are we ready to go into the nether? Probably not. Let's go anyway. Salute you villagers. Okay. Some bone blocks right on spawn. Let's just uh, take those coordinates. Huh. So I spawn here. When I'm looking for quartz. Those are risky. 
Because over there is doom, death, destruction. And you can knock me into it. Is there some safer courts? This looks like safer courts. For now, we only need 10, so it shouldn't be too bad. 9 and 10. Exactly 10. That should be enough. I hope. Uh, do you want to get spares? Yeah, let's get a few spares. 17. That will definitely be enough for what we need. Okay, time to head out. The nether will become a lot more viable when we get our elytra. I don't want to risk falling into lava and dying at this stage of the game. Okay, time to make those observers. Observer! 10. Nice. Well, alright, now that we have the cactus and the observer, let's... Get to building! That was actually a lot easier to build than I thought it would be. Another design by Logical Weak Boy, which worked out fantastically. Uh, right now, what I want to set up before we inject villagers into the system is the zombification chamber. I, th I got some stone brick here, because I, th I think stone brick will look pretty good with the wood. Currently the wood is a bit too overwhelming. Let's do this. Gonna have to leave it open for now because I still need to procure a zombie. As far as I understand, iron bars help with the healing process, is what I'm gonna call it. Uh, so the village is there, comes back here. Uh, I don't think I don't really need to chamber chamberify this thing, but I can just do this, right? Maybe to make it look nice, we can do something like that. This is going to look terrible either way. <laughs> okay, better. And it's almost night time. Perfect. That means we can start setting up for... A deadifier. Zombifier. Zombification person. The zombie changeification chamber. Oh my goodness, that scared me. You are not a zombie. Okay, let's just kill your friend over here. Oh, what? He exploded? Ah, oh, now I damaged you. That's okay. Why are there so many creepers around here? Hey. Hey. Let's first get rid of you. Pick up a cauldron. I mean, pick up a cauldron. Oh, please tell me you can pick stuff up. Ah, fantastic! My friend. Get into the minecart. Ow. Yeah, there we go! Oops. Get down there. Nice. Let's go sleep before I get blown to pieces. 
Ah, uh, daytime. Much preferred. Let's get rid of these rails. And you... What if I can actually leave him in the minecart? I do believe I can. Perfect. Wait, let's just change it up a bit. Let's do that. And then what I'm thinking is... You just have to change your station over here. Like that. That's perfect. Okay, so this will be a powered rail. To normal rail, normal rail, normal rail, normal, normal. Powered rail. Normal, normal. normal. Oh, right, they drop down here though. Okay, so I still need to bring them from here. And how am I gonna do this? Hmm. What if we move this up one? Right. And then... What happens if I do that? Which direction is it gonna go? Oh yeah, perfect. So then my idea was to have a lever here. Wait, hold on. And like this, it would go straight on, right? Yeah, okay. To go straight on, I just do this. Nice, nice, it snaps onto, and... Ooh. Okay, okay. It works. It works fine. And then, I can just have this button over here that activates that rail. Let's make a, a different button for this one. And put it where? Hmm. I think we're gonna have to be a bit more clever with this one. Okay, so you don't turn off a torch. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what I can figure out off camera, and then I'll be back. So this is what we have now. I moved the button to here, and with some redstone thingamajiggery, it now activates this rail. Uh, not too much, just... an overly complicated, unnecessarily complicated redstone line. <laughs> when this button be pressed, it clickly fires that thing, sends down, or picks up one of the villagers with the minecart, sends the minecart down here, and lands right on this rail. For us to decide whether we want to send it send it directly into the system, which is highly unlikely, but I thought I'd just put this in case, or send them to over here to get killed. And then this button right here activates them to chill over here, where they can restore themselves with the lovely weakness and golden apples. Both of which we still actually need. So I'd love to actually test the system, uh, but we still need a few things. Uh, we need the weakness potions that we will need to cure the villagers. And that requires brewing, and brewing requires blaze powder. So our next task would be to go procure some of that. Uh, which is making me a little nervous because I'm out of iron. My helmet is almost dead. Literally almost dead. It's on 1 HP. And I, yeah, like I said, don't have any iron. So, you know, maybe I should just wear these boots in case we run into piglins. 
Too bad I don't have a golden helmet. I'm gonna die. Okay. Don't give up, portal. I don't have a spare thingy, my Bobby. Ah. Huh. Don't have a spare for and steel. I can't afford the portal to break. Ah, get wrecked. I don't know, after 10,000 tries. I think I'm gonna go into a different direction to see if that's more successful, because that way... That way ended up being very precarious and not worth it at all. So we'll see if maybe some other way is more beneficial. And this isn't precarious at all. That's fine. Lots of pigment over here. Hey, we can walk without worry. Wait, wait, I'm wearing golden shoes. I'm wearing golden shoes. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Found one! Finally! Now it's just a case of bridging towards it. A terrible fortress. Indeed. So this part turned out to be quite interesting in our quest for blaze rods. First, I was rudely attacked by these wither skeletons, but I dealt with the first two quite well. However, tackling the blazes themselves proved extremely difficult because this nether fortress had like a bunch of spawn locations, like they were everywhere. Nothing to do with my incompetence. This first blaze encounter went tragically. I didn't end up killing it, even after my amazing cobblestone defenses. It just evaded me completely, and I think I eventually gave up on it. After which I decided, hey, stairs. I think I think there was a blaze up here somewhere. May have been the same one, I actually don't know. But it used the power of anti-gravity against me. And <laughs> I managed to fail at killing that one as well. Third time's the charm, right? We are trying to... Well, I was trying to kill this one. Using the same cobblestone wall defenses. I, I, don't get me wrong, the, these defenses helped a lot. Like, you could dodge almost every fireball. It's like, I did not catch fire that often. But the, when I was behind these walls. You, know, you gotta trust the walls. I did end up killing this one, but it didn't drop anything. So, I had to move on to the next one, try and find my confidence again. Hide behind the safety of the wall, even if it's not cobblestone, it will work just fine. And then eventually have the courage while it's crouching under the wall to protect myself and kill it. And that's where I got the first blaze rod. After killing the first blaze and getting the first blaze rod, I think I ended up killing about three more uh, before deciding to greed. And then this happened. I wanna go home. I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no! I died! I did not expect that. Then again, what should I have expected doing that? <laughs> okay, next time, bring enough food. So yeah, first death of the series. 
Um, can't say I didn't totally expect that going into the nether, but I should have tried better than to just run past a wither skeleton. So I went back, got all my items, thankfully all of them survived, and continued to hunt blazes, which some would say is still greeting, because after a short while of coming back, this happened. Okay, I died again. After that second death, I went back, got my items, and decided it was time to go home. And I'd get any other blaze part I may have needed some other time. Making it to the portal was easy enough. And at this point, I was very happy to be home in the safety of the snowy forest. While I was in the nether fortress, I did pick up some nether wart and decided to just plant a few here so they could grow next to the sugarcane farm which is also new and I actually got the achievement for the first time here I can't believe I didn't even plant wheat seeds before then it was just a case of brewing up some potions for the villagers so in theory this should work you st got stuck okay Nice, okay. Hello, friend. Did you have a good day? Oh, it's about to get better. Bloop. Let's see if this works. Yes. 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 Hey. Let's move you along. We will splash you. And feed you gobble. The system seems to work. I'm kind of surprised. Except for the droppage, but that's easy to fix. Welcome back to the world of the living. Good sir. Yep. It doesn't work. Okay. I have an idea of how I can fix it, but for now, let's just see what happens if I do that okay let's see do you choose the first profession the thing hey it works nice with the villager trading hall done I'm actually going to leave it there I was planning on doing something else this episode but I think we can leave that for the next one I'm quite happy with how everything turned out now I just need to install more uh, villagers to get out tools and weapons. Uh, and maybe some enderpoles if we're lucky. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!